All right, we're going to finish off pathology with the multi-region um, pathologies, both additive and destructive. So for additive, as we know, additive diseases will add to the original area of anatomy. It's going to be an increase in density, an increase in fluid, um, a presence of, you know, something more heavy than what's originally there. So these ones that are multi-region can kind of happen in different locations. So an abscess is a swollen area within um, body tissue. Edema is going to be swelling due to excess fluid. So pulmonary edema would be specific to the fluid, um, excess fluid in the lungs. And then tumors, as you know, tumors can affect any area of the body, but could be swelling um, and, and abnormal growth, whether it's benign or malignant. And then for destructive, we have atrophy. So this is um, the thinning or loss of muscle tissue, emaciation, uh, abnormally thin or weak, especially because of illness or lack of food. And then um, anorexia, nervosa. It's characterized by a distorted um, body image, a fear of being overweight. They're um, not wanting to eat or restricting eating. And as you can see from the radiographs included here, the minimal soft tissue um, that you can visualize is um, significant, right? So we're not seeing a lot of soft tissue surrounding this anatomy. Um, it's really kind of straight to the bone. So destructive in multi-regions or anything that's atrophy is making it smaller or thinner. So that would be destructive. And then for our additives, it's added to it. So we could have an abscess with filling of pus. Um, it could be pulmonary edema where it's fluid within the lungs. See how they're all patchy and white. And then this is a tumor. It could be an abnormal growth within the lung. So these can kind of happen anywhere. But if you go back to your medical terminology, it'll tell you, is it increasing or is it decreasing? And in general, that's how um, the additive and destructive pathologies work. So I hope that was helpful.